Hello, I am Dr. Jayachandra, Senior Interventional Pulmonologist and Clinical Director of Pulmonology in Care Hospitals, Banjara Hills. I have been asked what are the types of pneumonia that one can get. Now, as doctors, we normally look at, you know, what is causing the pneumonia. Is it a viral pneumonia? Is it a bacterial pneumonia? Is it one of those atypical pathogens which is causing a pneumonia? Or is it a fungal pneumonia? Now, this helps us to decide on the methodology of treatment that one would like to initiate on a patient who comes with this particular disease. In adults, at least in most instances, the viral pneumonias that you get are transitory and usually they just come out like a cold or a flu or something and we normally don't investigate them in any depth because it is usually a mild disease. Except when you are talking about these uh, newer things which are very very worrisome like you are talking about swine flu, you are talking about so many H1N1 influenza and other things that you have got. Yes, when the person is sick, when his oxygen level starts to go down, yes we are going to investigate them definitely. And these are all the viral things which have been in the news in recent times. Bacterial pneumonias are a little different. You are perfectly okay and one day you suddenly start feeling that you know your temperature is going up to 103, 104 like that and you have a severe chest pain every time you breathe in and you start coughing. Initially it's very dry then you start bringing out a little blood stained sputum and that gets you worried and that probably is a bacterial pneumonia. And usually as I mentioned that you know with diabetes and other things yes you could be prone for this people with very bad dental hygiene. So, these are also people who get it. Elderly people again, these are other people who are very prone to get this kind of a disease. Fungal pneumonias, yes, fungal pneumonias we have seen, especially you have heard about the black fungus epidemic that we have had after the COVID uh, uh, pandemic, yes. But in run of the mill, in the general community, to see a fungal pneumonia is a rarity, we hardly ever see that except in people who have been admitted into the hospital, long standing sick people, diabetics who have been bedridden, yeah you could be seeing fungal pneumonias. So in general when you are talking about pneumonia, you are classifying it either as a viral or a bacterial or a fungal or a atypical bacterial uh, infection. Thank you.